Welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we're working on the Camaro again. Can you believe it? Actually, AJ is over. He's wiping off the hood. And we're going to try to cut a big old hole in this thing, get it put on salty. So, thought I had all those Zeus rails. It looks like I ended up getting the wrong rails for this car, but I do have the front. So, I'll end up ordering those and getting those, but still, we can kind of get it to come sit up on the lip. But for the most part, the hole isn't going to change. So, we're at least going to try to get it setting down on here. So, then later on, I can come in and just put the Zeus's on it. I want to start wiring this thing the next week, and that's one of the last fab things I want to do to kind of like send a whole bunch of flakes and dirt and dust and all over crap all over the shop. And then I can clean it and start wiring. We're pretty good. I ended up finishing up welding all of the header the merge pipes here from the waste gates i think that came out super sick got the o2 sensors installed so we're getting really close on that stuff here's the other side and i think it came out pretty freaking sweet with the slip collectors now let's see if we can get a hood sitting on this thing let's see uh see how well it fits like a glove shit i'd run it <laughs> send, send it oh, oh yeah 24 inch cow hood <laughs> now I'm gonna have to get underneath there and start marking out kind of where it touches and then as it goes down it should only get tighter really so if I mark it and we just keep folding it on hopefully that'll work out oh hi <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I just leaned under here, took some soapstone, and marked out what I think is close. I'll probably go even to the inside of that some, but at least, uh, at least we got something to start with, and we'll be able to start actually getting a visual from the top once we get it there, but otherwise, guys, or we just build some spacers here and there, and then, you know, got the 900-inch hood here, and we're doing great. Put a little camera up front, and be like a Tesla, we're done. So we got it rolled over here, and so we're gonna, I think, start here, cut, and then just kind of cut up and around. I kind of have some spots marked out where like the sensors and stuff are, but not going to worry about that yet. want to lay that on there first and see. Hopefully we're, we're pretty thin and then I can come around and start notching it around this stuff. So I'm still not sure exactly how low it's going to sit on here either. So how far we're going to have to cut it down. But we about to find out. We went and grabbed some food from the house and look what showed up. Another car park. So actually I'm really super excited about this. We're going to open this thing up and get it tossed on there right now. So I was actually online and Clint with the blue Camaro that does race week, real fast car, probably one of the guys that I'd be running in, in a sense in the class. He made a post saying how he enjoyed this alternator and it worked well for him on drag and drives and all that stuff. So I went and checked out this company's page and they have some super sick stuff. So it's a box in a box. Oh, here we go. I wanted something a little fancy, a little special for Salty. So I hit up Neckman and they have these super dope alternators. Check this thing out. It's an all billet alternator on the front half. So this thing is super sick. I figured for Salty, that was gonna look awesome on the front end of the car with everything being kind of black anodized or black painted and white with the machine. So let's get this thing popped on there and see what it looks like. And let's just say <laughs> if it's exactly in so it actually touches the valve cover right there but shoot i'll i mean i'll take it that should be that should be just fine as long as these studs aren't they're okay to touch which i guess i need to verify that if not i might be doing a little put a little cap on there but the last little bolt in there that bolt does not like to go in that little mount there we go so that thing looks awesome on there i just need to make sure on the back super tight i knew with those big valve covers that might be uh, an issue but this is also pretty much like the thinnest narrowest ls alternator they even put this on the top the positive lug on the top of the alternator so it give me room to the back so then nice and easy to wire up that thing sits up there a ways and like everything else in the car it all sits up pretty high hey i think sick what do you think i mean everything does <laughs> it does sit high so but it looks awesome it does look sick yeah that makes me happy it just adds that next little billing to the vehicle now back to cutting this thing got my four inch hole saw i was actually looking i made a mark before about right here which is where i think it's going to hit that pipe look at that kind of lines up so i think we're going to start with the four inch hole cut out and back and then we'll uh open it up as needed all right see what happens there it is done Right in front of the race. I know we're, I'm pretty positive we're gonna have to cut clear back to here, but we'll just try it here and see where we're at. Rodeo. 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 Gotta say it like Californians. Yeah, that drill bit shit. Come on. Is that one of those ones AJ sharpened? Nope. I think not that big. I think that is that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that worked. 
I think it's a little thicker in that area too. Probably not even close. As long as we're too small. That's normally not what she says. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. A <laughs> little bit closer. Almost coming through the hole. So we're just trying to line it up back there. The little notch on the fenders. And now you guys can kind of see. I can start working my way around the throttle cable spot. And then I need to open up a little on this side. And then the TPS and all that. So we're going to open up a little bit more. And then we'll try to refit it. So I'm going to try this one little step at a time. Because I don't want to be overly too big. And we know the hood needs to come I think which way does it need to go? This way a little bit. So, uh, but we're rubbing here. So once I clearance this, then it should let it shift just a hair. Almost there, not quite. So now round number three, we ended up, we already put it on there, looked. Need to come a little here, a little there. Just a little bit here for the throttle. So getting there, just little bit by little bit. Well guys, not as ridiculous as we thought. I mean, really not a ton is sticking out. Kind of what we were thinking, but I mean, really not that much sticks out of this thing. So with the hood on, it just kind of looks ridiculous, but not actually as insane as I thought. Oh. We still need to look at this because we're actually sitting deep. It, it fell past the CID, so I need a notch just past the little logo right there. And then it looks like the burst panel even stays down inside. So we're going to make a few last little things for the throttle cable bracket. Make sure we got some clearance around the tube there. And then it looks like I thought I was going to have to cut further back, but this is actually higher than I thought. So... It looks like if we want, we could always build this back and kind of smooth it in. But really, it's not a bad deal there. But what's surprising is the burst panel actually sits all the way under it. And I didn't think it was going to. So that, that's pretty sweet. It looks like it might be rubbing right on it. But also, I think we're actually lower than we'll need to be. Forward. We're actually probably close on this side. We'll get it figured. Well, there it is. Almost. Sort of kind of close. We're still just rubbing a little up here. We're just trying to figure out the gaps. We got a little gap right there and it's it's real real tight over there so otherwise though freaking bam also i was looking at it this way freaking ridiculous way easier to see around the elbow than the whole hood but uh that's all right well everybody we got the hood on this thing i think it looks freaking awesome let me know what you guys think in the comments hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already like i said we're gonna be wiring on this thing i think i'm gonna wire the car out and then walk you guys back through it because it's just easier to explain it once everything's in the car than trying to predict and understand where it's headed so we'll do a whole walkthrough on the wiring as soon as i get that done i also got some plumbing to do this week and a bunch of other little things to work on but we are super close to firing this thing up i hope as close as i think i am to it. but either way thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video